Hello, everyone. It is June 3rd. I am Michelle Littwiller with Owl Star Stampers, and I am so excited to be here with you today for the launch of our new annual catalog. So if you're watching the replay or on YouTube, um, I'm just waiting for people to hop on and we will get started. I have four different cards to show you tonight and a lot of other exciting things to tell you. So stick around. And when you hop on, say hi. Okay. I signed on a, f a minute or two early. Okay. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me tonight. Hi Holly. Okay, I see people hopping on. This is so exciting. I am so excited. I posted last night that it's like, I feel like a kid on Christmas Eve um, with our new catalog launching today. Such an exciting day. I have four really awesome cards that we're going to make tonight together. And I have lots of stuff to show you. Hi, Carrie. Hi, Karen. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Linda. Hi, Shelly and Amy. Oh my gosh, I see lots of fun names and faces. Um, I'm so excited you're here, and I'm, I'm really, really excited. Thank you for sharing this also. I really appreciate that. So we're going to dive in. It is 8.01. So I know people are going to be um, hopping on as we're going. So feel free to let me know where you're at and that you're here. So we have a full fun night for you. I hope you're ready. Um, you might want to grab a pen and a paper so you can write down some of these things. Maybe you already have a list. I do have an ordering special for tonight. And so if you place at least a minimum $30 order, you're going to get the cards, the, a card kit to make these four make and takes that we're going to make tonight. You'll have to do the stamping and all of that. Um, on your, the, you'll have to have the stamps and the ink or substitute um, or buy them if you don't have them. If you bump it up to a $50 order, you're going to get that plus a brand new embellishment. I don't know yet because some stuff are, are is already on back order, believe it or not. It is like crazy. So, um, and then if you bump up to a hundred, I'm going to throw in a six by six stack of retired designer series paper. That was a hit not that long ago. And so we'll do that too. If you go up to 150, you can get host rewards and don't use a host code. Um, so yeah, that's the thing for tonight. We have lots of fun stuff. So we're going to get started. Yes. Tell me where you're from. So I can uh, see all your comments. Oh, also, if you're not on my email list, you're going to want to do that. Go to my website right there, owlstarstampers.com, and there is an email that you can join. And um, because tomorrow morning, you're going to get a replay of this. There's a download for a free tutorial with four cards. I'm going to show you those cards also. And the door price slip. So you're going to want to fill out the door price slip because I'm going to pick some people to get some brand new um, catalog stuff. Um, I ordered it today and I second date aired it so it should be here by this weekend. So we will um, pick some winners from the door prize form for that. So be sure to fill that out. Okay, let's get started. Um, here is the host code if you want to do any ordering tonight. I know some of you did... Um, earlier today and I did have one customer if that's you if you're watching that placed over a $50 order and clicked uh, no contact so like literally I have no contact I don't know your name I don't know where you live and I can't send you a thank you gift so if you place that order earlier today um, message me tell me what you ordered because I do know what you ordered and then I can be sure to thank you because um, I love to send you your card kit and all that. All right, I'm going to point you down. We're going to get started. 
and um, we're going to be using four different bundles and stamps and some new, some fun new stuff. So I hope you are as excited as me. Okay, let me get rid of the host code. I'll bring it back at the end. So let me show you. This is um, the catalog right here. I did a video on YouTube going through the catalog, so I'm not going to go through it right now, really. But you can head over to my YouTube channel, which is just Owl Star Stampers, and I did like. I don't know, I think it's like 18 or 19 minutes long going through this entire catalog with you and that posted today. So there's that. All right. Um, the free PDF. If you want to get that, if you're not on my email list, I'm going to show you the cards. I'm not, and also there is videos on my YouTube channel as well for them. Individual videos. So you can check those out. I'm just trying to find them. Here is one of the cards. This is using the jar of flowers and it's a shaker card. And so this is one of the cards in the free tutorial. And on my YouTube channel, there is a video on how I created this. And then we have this card. This video went up today. And um, this is using, again, another new bundle. And this is in the tutorial and this one with the sunflower and so that one is so pretty and then this one right here so these are um, four cards that I did counting down to the catalog and you can get this tutorial if you're on my email list tomorrow morning if you haven't got it already and you can hop over to that Facebook uh, not Facebook we're on Facebook YouTube to see individual videos on how I made these. I just wanted to show you them again. And lastly, before we get stamping tonight, I want to tell you about my card club. It's going to be even more awesome this month. We're going to be using the Jar of Flowers stamp set. I'm going to give you a sneak peek. You can go to my website to sign up. And we're going to be creating these really pretty cards. This card might be one of my favorite I've ever made. And this one is another shaker card. And this one right here. So these are the card club cards. If you're interested in joining my card club, um, you just sign up online through PayPal. It's $38 if you want it shipped to you. You're going to get at least $20 of products each month mailed to you, a PDF. You can have the option to add on the bundle. Um, we have almost 40 members in the card club. And so anyway, th this is the set we're using this month. So I hope you will join us. Last week, if you didn't see, we went over the in colors. Here they are. And here they are um, in person. So this was one of the first things that I ordered today was the in color ink in the blends. So um, anyway, this was the first thing I added to my order was all the ink in in color blends and re-inkers. So let's start stamping, all right? Are we ready? I'm super excited. Okay, we have lots of friends. And again, you have to do the door price form because I have some fun things to give away. Here's the first card we're going to be making. Do you see this embossing folder? It is so cool. Um, it's called Old World. Old World Paper Embossing Folder. And it does this to the background, which is really, really awesome. This is our in color bumblebee, by the way. We're going to be using for this card the Celebrate Sunflower Bundle, which I saw a few of you ordered this already. And there are there is a set of dies that coordinate right here. And so if you watched my one video on the other sunflower card, um, where is it? This one, I like, you saw me struggle lining these up. So one of my friends and customers t showed me a tip. So these are the dies that you get in this bundle. So I'm gonna share with you because it really helped me today when I made this card. So on your die, 
you're going to notice that all the points go like straight out and then there's three that curve to the side right here and that's how you can line them up. So like they, that really helped me to figure that out. So there's like three that uh, don't go straight. They kind of tilt to this edge and that makes it so much easier to line up when you're die cutting. So that was a great tip and I told her, Sandy, that I was gonna share it with you. Okay, so we have, we're gonna need um, this big stamp, the leaf in the sentiment. And then I, I thought I had all my pieces right here. We're gonna go ahead and fold this. So again, if you um, want to order, um, I'll send you the tutorial for these cards as well. This is gonna get put on here. I'm just looking for my designer series paper that I swear I cut. Um, I use like this burlap piece but I guess we're gonna use the wood here so I cut this at like one and a half inches by four so the in good taste designer series paper is one of my favorite packs of paper um, in, that we have okay so glue we're gonna glue this down I see Tammy said the sunflower is so easy or so pretty. And then I saw Linda's tip. Great tip. Yes. That tip made it so much easier to line up. And now, do you see the back of this? It's just so cool. This embossing folder. Um, I'm going to add some dimensionals. Okay. And then we're going to do our stamping. So, and I'm going to show you how I colored in my sunflower because it was super fast surprisingly so we're gonna put this down just like this now you're just gonna want some whisper white and I use early espresso and you're gonna need a big block for this because this is a really big sunflower I have block E here and here I was like worried for a minute where is my sunflower so it's really big and we're gonna just so make sure you ink it up really good so I'm again the um watch it stamp I was like oh my gosh look at how pretty this is I wish you were sitting right here with me so you could admire this <laughs> and then I went ahead Okay, I keep telling myself I have to clean off every stamp before I move on. So I'm going to do that. Okay, cleaned it off. Okay, now we have our leaf. And we're going to stamp that in Mossy Meadow, which is a dark green. And we're going to do two leaves. And that block is way too big. I'm going to come in here with my block C. And we're going to stamp two of those. So now at this point, I took my dies and I die cut them in my in my die cutting machine. Now Stampin' Up! is coming out with a new die cutting machine. You'll see it in the catalog. It's not available yet, but it is coming. And I believe they said by the end of the year. So just hang tight and use your old one that you have now. So anyway, just like that, here they are already cut out. So there are our pieces that we need. Now, the fun part. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of coloring. And I'm going to show you how quick it can be because sometimes coloring can be, um, can be like, can take a lot. Some of you don't like to color. Some of you love it. So um, this goes by really, really fast. I'm just gonna grab some of my markers and some of, the, I don't need all of these. I'm just, I'm using some for a different card too. So the first thing I did is I took Light Daffodil Delight. So this is the light one. And I took the brush and, and mine has been very well used and loved. I need a new one. 
And I just basically kind of scribbled, <laughs> scribbled a little ink on here. I didn't color it all in. This is literally how I did it. So I'm just adding a little bit of the light yellow, just like that. I'll pick it up so you can see it. So it's, you can still see a lot of white, but that's how I started. And then I forgot, I did the center first. So I took our light crumb cake and I colored in this whole thing with light. And then I realized that's too light. So I did another layer and then I realized that's still too light. So then I took um, the dark crumb cake and I colored in the center and just around the edge a little bit. Just like that. And then I came in with my bronzer and did the outside even more. So just like, just like that. Then I took the light and I just kind of blended, blended them in a little bit. Okay, so here's where we're at right now. I took my same light crumb cake, this is the light brown, and I kind of just went along the outside of the flower. So I'm getting a little bit of brown on these petals. It's just really light. This was the last card I made, so I just, I remember it. Okay, so now we're going to take the Dark Daffodil Delight on the brushed end, and we're going to just kind of go along some of these uh, the brown lines. So we're gonna, we're still not like coloring it in, but I'm just putting some lines in where the stamp already stamped. It just makes it really cool this way. It gives it lots of uh, dimension, I think. So we have this now, I'll hold it up. You can still see a lot of, not a lot, but you can still see a little bit of white. And now I have light pumpkin pie. I promise this is so easy. You just have to um, have a few markers and I'm just adding a few little streaks of light pumpkin pie in here. Again, I'm not being like super like fussy or careful. I'm going to show you. I'm going to hold it up close so you can see. So there's some of the pumpkin pie, which is a light orange. And then finally, the last thing is I'm taking light so saffron. So this is like the lightest yellow. And now I'm going to blend. I'm going over where I just put that pumpkin pie. And I'm just going to blend that in a little bit. And I'm going to add fill in if I see any white a little bit so that my sunflower is colored. But again, I'm not being like super, super careful. So I'm blending in that pumpkin color, that light color, and that's it. It's so simple and there is our sunflower and it took like hardly no time and it just gives it a whole lot of dimension with those colors and you don't have to like take a whole lot of time so it's really cool now this one I did the leaf in mossy meadow so you're just going to take your old olive and just color this in really fast it's super super simple and I already did the other leaf so you don't have to watch me And um, then we can just put this together. So I colored, I did one layer of the dark old olive. Then I just went up the middle a second time. Can you see that? And then I just fanned, fanned it out a little bit where those, again, where this stamp is. So I did like an extra little layer there. So there's our leaves. Okay, we're going to put this together. 
So, oh my gosh, I just love the sunflower. It looks so realistic. We're going to grab these dimensionals and add three on the back. And we're going to put this down. Kind of like here. And then our leaves we're just gonna put down with some regular glue. So we have some new adhesive coming out. I'm, I ordered it today, I can't wait to get it. Try it out. So I'm gonna put a leaf here and one up here. Thanks for joining everybody. We're gonna be making the sunflower card and three other cards using some brand new products. Now this is a three inch, three quarter inch strip. And we're gonna stamp it that says thanks a bunch in. Then I'm gonna show you a brand new punch that you need to have. You're all gonna want it because it is pretty dang amazing. Okay, we're going back with the early espresso and we're going to just stamp this. Stamp it right there. I swear I just stamped it crooked. I did. Is it that bad? Hmm. Yeah, we'll do it again. So see, stamping up paper, that's why you want stamping up paper. You flip it over and you can't even see it. When I say that, I mean it. It doesn't... I, it, it really is awesome cardstock here. All right, now I think I got it straight. There we go. I keep joking that I need some glasses. And that's probably, I have some. Um, they're not like prescription, but they help. Do I wear them? Nope. So what good is that? Okay, we're gonna take this new punch. It's called, it has five like names in it. I, I don't even know what it's called. It's called Lovely Label Pick a Punch something, something, something. It's in the catalog, um, but it's so cool. And you can laugh at me because I don't know the names because it's brand new. But you can take strips of paper that are one inch, three quarter inch, or a half an inch, and you can punch out banners and labels with this. You can get a design with this on the end or this. So I'm gonna stick this in so you just put it in. Make sure it's open. You're gonna push it in all the way to the back and then you can punch it out. And do you see that edge? So this one's too long so I do have to trim this down. Sometimes I wonder like um, the names of things. Some of these names are really, really long. This is one of them, this punch, but it's so awesome, you, you need it. And then you push this in all the way and you punch it and then look at that, it's so cool. That is such a fun little punch. And then I'm gonna show you in a minute, uh, we're gonna use the other end. Actually, that's a little bit long, so I'm just gonna put it in there again and punch it a second time. Make it a little bit shorter, there we go. Okay, this card is almost done. So we're going to add some dimensionals to here. Oh, yeah, this is the crooked side. We don't want it. We don't want that. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Sherry. And we're putting this on right here at the bottom. And there is our card. So here is card number one. The sunflower bundle. Here is my original. Um, this one used the same pack of paper, but see it has like a linen burlap-y paper. And so simple. Um, and then if you get the bundle, you can do a sunflower like this too with uh, paper and dyes. And don't forget you can watch, this video is already uploaded on my YouTube channel. So there's our first card. Let me get this out of the way and we're gonna start our second card. All right, let me know if you like the sunflower if it's on your wish list. And here we go, card number two. We're gonna do um, this one right here. We're gonna stick with these little pieces and we're gonna be using the Tasteful Touches bundle. 
and there's some dies that coordinate here. These dies are awesome. I think I've showed you before. They're the Tasteful Label dies. This is an amazing bundle. These some of them have stitching and some have edging, like this um, edging around here. I don't know if you can tell. Let me try to get it to focus, but it it's not going to show you. There is like a little embossed edge around here, so it's it's really cool. So you can get this whole thing together in a bundle. And this was one of our fun bingo prizes we gave away. Okay, and then this is that In Good Taste Designer Series paper. This is just Early Espresso. This is a really quick card. And this piece is, I believe, two inches by five and a quarter. It'll be in the tutorial if you guys order so you can get all the measurements. But look at that piece. That would match perfectly too. Come on, snail. Okay, and then we're going to uh, put this disc down here on the side like that. Okay, for our Whisper White label, so in my sample, I put white on the inside. I didn't cut it for this card for some reason, but so pretend like we put a white layer because you can't read what you write on here unless you have a white like gel pen or marker so pretend like we put some white in there and now we have our little label and our mat and we are going to be stamping just saying hello and then this pretty flower here so let me grab those and I'm using early espresso and petal pink those are our colors Lovely Labels Pick a Punch. Thank you, Sherry. That is a mouthful. But that mouth that is something that I think you all would enjoy. Okay, we're going to do our words. Uh, and I'm going to stamp the words a little bit more to the left. And it's just say just saying hello. I love this because I could send it to anybody. Um, it's a perfect card to send anyone. Okay, I'm cleaning it off. I'm being a good, a good girl and cleaning my stamps. So when the end of this happens, I don't have like stamps everywhere that are dirty. And now I have my pretty little flower and we're going to go in with petal pink ink. Petal pink ink. Say that four times in a row. And we're gonna stamp the flower right over. And since it's a light color, oh, look at that. Do you see how pretty that is layered? Any light shade would look really pretty, I think. Okay, and now I'm done with that. We're done with stamping. This card's almost done. I'm just gonna put this back in here. And now we're going to take our braided linen thread, which if you guys did bingo, that sold out in a hot minute. Um, <laughs> you got this in your packet. You'll also, I'll also give you more if you um, do your ordering. But I really do. I love this ribbon. And we're going to take, just um, add a couple strips of adhesive on the back there if the camera will pick it up. And then I'm gonna just loop this around. I think just like this and trim it. And then one of my favorite things is burlap. And this is kind of like the only thing we have currently. So I'm kind of fraying the end a little bit because of the wood on there and the burlap and you know, I'm gonna pull that apart just like that. Thank you for sharing, Susan. And also, if you just hopped on um, and you missed it, um, if you're not on my email list, you can join that. Just go to my website up in the corner and there's a door prize form that's gonna be in there um, tomorrow if you didn't already fill it out if you want a chance to win some prizes I'm giving away some new embellishments from the new annual catalog and so I'm gonna go off the door prize form 
Okay, it's a little bit too long here, so I'm just gonna trim some of these off. It's like I'm giving that ribbon a little haircut, which I can't wait to have someday. And then we're going to grab some pearls. So our pearls right here, and where's my take your pick tool? I can't find anything on my desk right now, my table. Here it is. Okay, so take your pick tool. I'm going to take some of these uh, pearls. I love this. It just picks it up, sticks right on the end. I can pop it down where I want it, close my scissors so I don't cut myself, put one there, and put another one down here. And so that is just our sweet and simple card with the tasteful touches. So there is that. Here's the original one. You're gonna to wanna to make sure, you're gonna get white to go on yours if you place your order, so you'll get that. And then here is another card I made, if you'd missed it, it's in that free tutorial with the same um, bundle. And so this also has an embossing folder. It's called textile something. And here's another one of the labels with the stitching. And then there's also these beautiful, um, wood elements too. So um, that's like a fun card also. So there are two samples using the tasteful touches. And so let me know what you think about that card. Fran says, lovely card, Linda. I love that card. Hi, Jane. Thanks for hopping on. Okay, we're moving right along to our third card. Um, and so that one, our next card, is featuring the jar of flowers. So this right here, and this has a punch. Here's the punch. I believe it's $36.75 for the bundle. This is also what I'm using for my card club this month. I showed a sneak peek at the beginning of those cards. So if you want to join my card club, you can. We're making some fun cards. And I even already ordered the domes because we're going to be using the shaker card. We're going to be making one shaker card. And they're already on low inventory in these fun gems. So I ordered those already. But again, here's a sneak peek of card club. So here they are. So yes, those are... Our card club cards, the Owl at Card Club. This is the card we're making with it today. Um, it is just sweet and simple and very pretty. And I have all the pieces right in here. Okay, so this card, we're going to be using this pretty paper it's using the misty moonlight another new in color and look at the back it's sunflowers so this pack of paper comes in a six by six stack and here is a sampling of it so this is like the front and backs of all of them and these are the colors it coordinates with which are the five in colors plus poppy parade and then on the back, there's even more. So this pack of paper comes with a lot of different um, designs. We're using this one right here. So this is the pattern we're using here. And then I just have some thick whisper white. So we're going to fold this. Um, I'm, oh, I got tools and stuff everywhere. Here we go bone folder. On that door price form too, it asks you if you would like to join the card club or if you would like to join my team. We have a, there's a really great deal going on right now um, for joining a team or hosting a party. There's also a special if you want to host your own party. I just had somebody do an online party last week and she had an awesome party. She had about a $500 party and she got some great rewards. So now is a really good time also to um, do all those things. Stampin' Up! just has a lot going on with this new catalog, which is super exciting. Okay, we need this little jar. And this stamp set is reversible. 
Um, so this jar, you can stamp this outline like this, or you can flip it over and do a solid image on your jar. So, and then the same thing with this one up here and then these down here. So you just flip it over on your block. So if you want the solid image, you stick it down this way. If you want the detailed, like the outline, you flip it that way. So that's how this stamp set, um, it's reversible for those images right there. We need memento black, um, just some black ink. And we're using memento because we are going to color it in with some blends. And I'm just going to stamp this towards the bottom of this paper. And I'm using my mat because this is a photopolymer. Hi, everyone. And I stamped it more off to the side, but whatever. I'm not, we're going with it. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is stamp the flowers. So at Bingo, my online Bingo, a lot of people wanted this as a prize. And so that's why I decided to do it for my card club because it was really popular. And I just have to grab the right stamp I'm using. Okay, here's the stamp. So we're using this one right here to color in. Jeez, I'm like hitting things. So these flowers, you can um, cut them out, um, you can, or stamp them flat. So this one is going to go, I'm just going to layer it so it's right at the top of this cool jar. Thanks for joining Mary from Southwest Minnesota. Okay, Susan, I'm so glad you're excited for Card Club this month. Okay, there's that. Now, I'm going to show you again how... Oh, if you got Paper Pumpkin this month, you got the new Misty Moonlight Stamp Spot. So, I mean, I just ordered all the new in-color inks, but I don't have them yet. But I'm a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, so I got the ink spot and I'm going to use that on the sentiment right here. So let me grab these markers to do a little bit of coloring and this this doesn't take very long either so just hang with me although I did grab a lot of markers. So the first thing I did is I grabbed um, this is dark pool party and I just went along kind of the edge of the jar to give it a little highlight. Oh, I didn't stamp the stems. I guess we should do that. Well, let me finish this. So I just added a little bit of blue um, in the jar and along the bottom, just kind of like that. And I did go along some of these little hash marks with some of the pool party, just like that. Okay, we're going to stamp the stems so you can, it looks like they're actually in the jar. So we're going to do that really fast. And you just stand, line them up to the edge of that jar there so it's not, and with the photopolymer, it's really easy to do. So we're inking it up and then even I can do it when I'm like looking away stamping those stems in the jar. Okay, the color in the stems, I used dark mint macaron. And I, again, I just quickly colored them in. If I have not sold you on these blend markers yet, I don't know. They are the best, the best. They're super easy to use to blend and highlight. You don't have to be, you don't have to necessarily take any special classes. They're just very easy to use. And now they come, you get the combo pack for $9 a set. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is color in these leaves up here with the mint. 
I like the brushed end. It makes it go a little bit faster for me. So we're gonna color these little leaves in. And what I'm learning with these is you can layer other colors on like I did on that sunflower and it looks just so cool. Okay, so we got those in there. And then I'm just gonna go over the center of those leaves again to give it a little bit more highlight. Okay, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take, this is light shaded spruce and these little things over here we're gonna color. Right, and then over here. For the flowers, I picked Flirty Flamingo, and then I kind of wanted to tie in that blue, but I don't have the blend yet. So I'm gonna show you how I did it. It, I think it turned out pretty good the way I did it. So we'll do that one next, the blue. So here is the Misty Moonlight. That's our, our color. So here we are so far. Um, the flowers are really big, so they go by really fast. So what I did is I took the Dark Seaside Spray and the Light Night of Navy. I believe I used this on one of the other cards too. So you just take the brush end and we're gonna color this in over here. So this is Dark Seaside Spray. So I'm coloring the end. You see how fast that goes? I just want to make sure I'm, I'm looking at my sample. <laughs> so we have this. And then we're going to go in with that light night of navy in just a second and add some highlights. And then we're going to blend it up. Okay. So here we go, dark seaside spray. I'm gonna leave the cap off because we're gonna use it again. Now, light night of navy. I'm gonna go in the center. I'm gonna go down here and then along some of these lines where they stamped. So it kind of looks like this now. It kind of looks like a mess, right? But we're gonna take the this one and we're gonna just do little circular motions and we're going to color it and blend that out. And you can, what I did on my original one is I did that a second time and then that's how I got, I'll show you the difference. You can see um, on this one, it's a little bit darker because I did that whole step a second time. I'm not gonna do it on here, but um, this one's just a little bit lighter. If you want it a little bit deeper, just do repeat what I just did. Okay, next up we have the Flirty Flamingo. We're almost done. And we're gonna color this flower in with our brush. This is Dark Flirty Flamingo, I believe. Yep. And Okay, we have one more card after this. It's a pretty quick one. What is, if you've been looking at the catalog or online, what is your favorite bundle so far to start off? I know there's probably multiples, but what's your, what's the one you're most excited to get first? I would love to hear. Okay, here are these little flowers up here. Oh, Susie, I'm so happy you're here. Susie said she's a newbie. Welcome. We are happy to have you here. Okay, so I have those flowers in, and I don't know why I colored these pink too, so we'll just add that there. And then I'm going to go in um, and just add, just go a little bit darker in some of these spots. I'm just... I know some of you say, how do you color? How do you do that? So I try, I'm try. i trying to teach you without boring some of you. So thanks for sticking with me. So I'm just going over these spots a little bit. Okay. 
So there we have it. There is our stamped image colored in. Now we can layer it onto here. And with alcohol markers, they do bleed through. So that's, um, oh, Wendy said the peony bundle. I, I bought that today, Wendy. I'm going to be doing an online class with that, hopefully this month. So it's coming on Friday. I paid extra to get it. So I'm planning, I want to do an online class with the peony too. So there we have that. Now we're going to pop this up. Oh my God, you guys should see all these markers. Like, look at, <laughs> look at them all. There's even more. Okay, I love, I love these markers. Okay, we're done with them though, so I'm moving them in the bucket. And then I'm, I need to have Karen come over here and put them on my little organizer for me. Okay, we're going to layer this down. And we're going to put this on here like this. Oh, I ordered the zebras too. And the hippos. I um, think those are really cute. Okay, dimensionals. They're up here. One, two, three, four. So I do. I bought some door prizes to give away. I bought a bunch of different uh, embellishments. And they're coming on Friday. And I am going to be so excited to give them out to some of you. So I, I know I might sound like a broken record. But I know some of you are joining late. So fill out the door prize form in the email that's going out tomorrow if you haven't done so. This is just a half inch strip. We're using Misty Moonlight and another new stamp set. This stamp set I'm going to use on my last card, but this stamp set I also use on all the cards for my card club because the jar of flowers, while it's amazing, there's no words in it. And I know probably all of you have stamps with words, so you can use any words you have. This one I just love so much. This is the one that actually coordinates with this cool punch. You can get this together in a bundle. So you're going to want to add that to your wish list. So that's these actually come together. But I love the fonts and the sentiments in here. So this is what I'm using on this card and for my card club. And I'm using the word that says smile. So, again, you can use it for anything. And we're going to put the smile on here and uh, the little ink spot. We're just inking it up from the paper pumpkin kit until my big ones come this week, end of the week. We're going to stamp this here just like that. And then we are going to just uh, make a little banner. Now you could use that punch. Um, I don't know. For some reason I just made a little normal banner. And we're going to stick this down. Over. Sorry, I'm crooked. <laughs> I am going to trim this down just a little bit. And we're going to add a dimensional on the back. And put this little sentiment over here. The last thing I did is I took the flowers for every season gems. You're going to um, get these in the card club. Hopefully, I ordered them. They're already on low inventory. So hopefully my order got in in time. And if not, they'll just come, they'll come eventually. I took some liquid glue and we're going to add a few of these droplets on here. Here and here and here. And then you just, I'm using just the clear ones, but there's some in there that are sparkly. And then you can just put them down. And um, the glue I just used dries clear. So I'll show you because it looks like kind of white behind it. So I just added a few of these little droplets on there. You see that? And here is our original card. 
So there's our third card. Let me know what you think of this one. And again, I showed a video with this. This one's already over on my YouTube channel using the actual dome and some of those little fillers on the inside. So that's on my YouTube channel already. Um, you can check that out if you missed it. Okay, I'm gonna leave these here while I get the stuff for the last card. Um, so Leanne, I have a card club. It is called the Owlette Card Club. And each month you get, um, you we make eight cards with featuring one bundle or stamp set. And so if you want more details, I have them over at my website. It's up in the corner, owlstarstampers.com. And there's like a, a, if you click on the drop menu, it says um, card club. And you can click there to join and get more details. Or you can message me after and I would love to help you. And we have, um, I send you the directions and pictures and all that fun stuff. And it mails on the 25th of the month. Okay, our last card is going to be this one. It is using this stamp set um, right here. And again, I, I really like it. When I, when I um, did this card that I showed you at the beginning, this is using really bright colors. Granny Apple Green, Melon Mambo, and Daffodil Delight. So then the one we're gonna do here is using a softer colors, uh, Pear Pizzazz, Blushing Bride, and So Saffron. I know I even like stumbled, stumbled over that. So these are our colors. Okay, let me get rid of this jar out of the way. Except for, look at my stamp is on here. I'm, I need to take care of that. All right, I'm not going to make you wait. But here's my scissors. I'm probably going to need those. Okay, we are starting out with some Thick Whisper White. I already have a lot of this all done. Thick Whisper White is just folded in half. And then we're using that In Good Taste Designer Series Paper. And this side just has that. Um, the back has this. It's really cool too. Maybe I should do one this way. Um, yeah, I will. And then you can tell me what one you like better because these papers you can use any which way. So we're going to just stick this down first and then we'll do our stamping. This one is really quick. There's no bows, no die cutting, just a little bit of stamping. So we have this just here. Um, and then next I have a piece of Whisper White. I believe this is four and a quarter by three and a quarter. It'll be in the tutorial. I, I can't remember. And then the Blushing Bride is just an inch bigger. So if this is four and a quarter, this would be four and a half by three and a half. That's what I think it is. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of stamping now. So what I did is I just opened all of these up. I have the green the pink and I did the yellow. I don't have my stickers on here. I need to do that. There's like a little sticker that goes there. Um, these ones at home I just I don't have. I'm going to take the little leaf and we're going to stamp that first in the green and I'm going to do one up here. Look at that. I'm going to do one up here Pretend like you didn't even see that. There we go. We're gonna do one kind of down. So what you can do is kind of use your little tag to position where you want them to. One there. And then I want one kind of coming, can you see, off to the side here like that. So that's the green. Pear pizzazz, we're done with that. I'm gonna wipe it off and then I took this this one right here this little one and I'm gonna stamp it and I had a scrap piece of paper I'm gonna stamp it off once and then I'm gonna stamp it down here 
And what that's gonna do is it made it a little bit lighter, but it's the same ink pad. So that's how you can use your ink pads in another way too if you want a little bit lighter shade. Just stamp it off on some scrap paper and then you get a totally different look. Next we have this little flower and we're going in with the So Saffron. And I'm gonna put one over here and then I'm gonna put one over here and then one going kind of off down here. So that's what we have so far. Looks kind of crazy. Our label is gonna go kind of right across there. And the last one we need is the tiny little flower and we're gonna add some little pink in there. So I'm gonna just put a little pink flower down here and one here and one up here. And then I also stamped one on a scrap piece of paper, pretend like I did that, a scrap whisper white, and I hand cut it out. So you don't have to watch me do that. There's that one right there. All right, we're gonna put this together and I'm closing up my ink pads just like this. Okay, this, see, no one will know I made a mistake except for the 70 of you that are watching me. Because when I put it down, you can't even tell. <laughs> um, here is our label. This is a one inch strip and I use that cool punch and I just already punched out the sides. Actually, I didn't. This is one I was, that's, I need a skinnier side. I need a three quarter inch one. So I'm gonna grab it. We're gonna use the other one. And I wanted to say just because. This is really pretty. Just because, and I used it in pear pizzazz. Just kidding, we need the ink pad again. So this is a three quarter inch strip. You have the just because. Thank you, Wendy. Um, we're gonna use this end of the punch now, right here. So we're opening it up and we're sliding it all the way in. I'm making sure it's even, I'm punching. And then I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side. It moved. So just like that. There is our fun little label. And see, you can do so many different things with this. Okay, our card base. Our card base, where did it go? Here it is. We're going to put this on with these. And we're going to stick this down. And then this is coming over here. Wendy, you have a you have plenty of time to get it ordered. It's okay. I know sometimes we can't get everything right at once. So you still have time to get it. Here is our punch. Isn't that so sweet? I love sweet and simple cards. You guys know that about me. Then our little flower right here. I'm gonna put a dimensional on the back of this. If you're just joining, I'm gonna show you all the cards we made in just a minute. And I'm gonna put this, where do I want it? Where do I want it? I guess down here, kind of like that. And then I need some more pearls. I'm going to put pearls on the end of our thing. You guys should have seen me when I was placing my order today. I realized that the ordering site went live earlier than expected. It's been known to do that before. So I was frantically ordering the stuff for my card club and 
the ink colors and all that. And I was like, I got done and I felt like I just like exercised really hard because I was so like excited to get it all in and done and all of that fun stuff. So there is our card. Here's the original one. So this one is the flip side of the paper. So it's the same stuff, but the flip side. And so there is that card. What do you think? Do you, did I convince you on the Lovely You bundle? Um, here is this bundle right here. So um, there's that one. If you're just joining, let me um, show you all the cards we made tonight. So I want to know what your favorite card is. So here is the last card we made. Then we made, let me find them. We did this one right here with the jar of flowers. Then we did, this was the first one we did with the sunflower bundle with new embossing folder. And we did this one right here with the touches, tasteful touches. So those were our cards that we did tonight. I hope you liked them. Okay. And, well, my hair is like, look at how long my hair is. I swear it's grown like four inches in the last four months. I can't wait to get it trimmed. Um, it's really long. And, uh, okay, anyway, we're, we're back on track. I totally lost my focus for a second. If you want to order any of these awesome products, here's the host code. And at the beginning, I shared my special. And so it is, if you want to place a minimum $30 order, I'm going to send you a make and take packet to make one of each of these cards. So you're going to get all the paper and ribbons to do that. You're just going to need the stamps and ink. So if you don't have these stamp sets, you can buy them or you can substitute with something different. So, um, you'll get the card kit to make four of these with a minimum $30 order. Okay. You got to use that host code so I know who to send it to. Then, if you bump it up to 50, I'm going to send you that plus a new embellishment from the annual catalog. By the way, if you ordered last month in May, um, I ordered all your embellishments. So they're going to be going out soon, as soon as I get them. I already made you some thank you cards. So um, anyway, be looking because they're coming. And then if you bump up to 100, you're going to get all that plus a pack, a 6x6 retired designer series paper stack also sent to you. Um, if you want to host your own online party, let me know. We can do that. Um, if you There's like double host rewards if your party gets up to 250. And there's an awesome deal if you want to join my team. So I would love to go over any of that with you as well. Um, there's, I was going to put up the host code. It's already there. So I hope you love these products. Um, if you need a catalog and you're one of my customers, um, please email me and I will get that out to you if you're not local. Um, I know I still have a few to mail out, so I'm in the process of still getting, um, some mailed out that people still need. So I will get that to you. And... I'm just excited. Next week, we'll have all new cards again. I do a weekly Facebook Live every Wednesday. And again, sign up for my email if you're not because the that free tutorial will be in there tomorrow. And fill out the door prize form to get a chance to win. I will see you next time. If you have any questions getting your order in, I know sometimes the site is difficult. I can help you. I don't mind at all. So just um, email me or contact me, Facebook message me, and I will help you. Have a great night, everyone, and have fun shopping. Bye.